Hi YouTube, Rory Marco coming to you with Marco's Custom Models today. Talking about something a little different, a little oddball, a little quirky, but uh, it's a complete scratch build too. There's nothing other than wheels and tires I'm using from another model, everything else, and maybe a steering wheel, some things like that. Uh, everything else is being scratch built. And uh, this is uh, an Amphicar 770. The 770 stands for 7 miles uh, an hour on um, water and 70 miles an hour on land. It's uh, got a 4 cylinder engine in it, I can't remember the exact displacement now. Uh, but anyway, I was going to use a little uh, Austin Mini uh, engine and modify it to look like the correct engine. But anyway, um, what I've got here are some pieces that I've cut out on a CNC machine. I did all the drawings of the car. And um, with this, I added the, the door line in here as well, some detail. And cut out what I felt was the basic shape. And I cut out a piece that was the correct width of the car so that it gave me a gauge. That's all that is. This is the front of the car here. Glues on like that. And then I have things like the headlight bezels that glue on, or the shape of the headlight, and then I have some pieces that go on there for the grill, things like the taillights, the hood, and um, here's the trunk deck. A uh, couple of options. This has the correct amount of lines in it, uh, which we're CNC'd in. And then this is... Um, a deck where I could glue in louvers to be more correct but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to go this way but I just thought I'd show you what the option was and then this is the understructure that would go under the deck lid and glue on like so and that would make the trunk deck I also have one for the hood and if this had the louvers on it you would be able to see the detail through the louvers under the deck lid like so so anyway that's um, the start of it I'm just going to put this stuff aside and show you. No, oh, also, this is the uh, little pieces for the propeller. I'll show you that propeller. This is the propeller glued together. If you can see that. So that's the correct size. And I just basically glued those little propellers on the uh, on a piece of styrene tubing. There's a little cone that has to go on the end yet. So that's one propeller down. Okay. So I'm just going to move this stuff aside. Oh, here's like the little wings too. They go on the back. Anyway, I'll just move this aside. And that becomes this. So you glue it together and I started with this basic body shape that's starting to look like the car. And this is in 1 25th scale. Although it feels bigger and after doing the measurements you start to realize how big the car is. It has a short wheelbase but it is not a small car especially in the width it's quite wide so that's the you can see the door jams the gaps there all right front end the driver's side left side and the tail light section now this also has to have a slight bend in it and i'll show you that in a minute just wanted to show you i had to build this because i got excited when i started building this thing it kind of went together pretty quickly and then I didn't really make films of what was happening, so I wanted to sort of, I had to build another on the way just to show you what were, how that plastic became this. This is half inch tubing. I cut that in half, and that would make the rounded part of the car. And if you notice, I also had to cut the sides. I gave it a little bit of a, a chamfer down compared to the original side. If you look at that side, that's just a straight cut on the top, and this has a little bit down and, and uh, at the front and you'll see what that does in a minute so that's that now let's bring out what I got so far so here's the Amphicar uh, basically a completed body uh, chassis and now I just have to do the interior tub and engine compartment so you can see this has the slight curve into it I still have to make the license plate piece that sort of protrudes out it's got the little wings on it and they're at the right angle at least I feel it is there you go you can see there's the front end 
this is all one piece part of the body and I was originally going to glue the hood in but I realized that because I have such nice detail going on I'm going to have the hood open there's under the hood the under the hood structure allowed me to put a curve into the styrene and when I glued it I was able to keep that curve because it held it and now follows and fits the, the shape windshield frame and vent windows and I made brass hinges for it so that the the hood actually just slides on so it's on like that it's the underside now clever about this thing is I can pop the chassis off so here's the body now you can see how that's kind of done and I after I cut this center piece out I have a little bit of work to do in the front corners here yet and then uh, a little bit of work on the chassis to make this part up to make a complete gapless um, joint there so if I put the body on here you'll see that everything underneath there's no gaps it makes a, a nice tight seal um, probably would float uh, there's no real water to come in other than the, the, the joints and then of course these two holes in the front. That's the underside. Those propellers will have to go here on shafts. And they'll go one on the left, one on the right. And because the propellers both turn in the same direction, apparently the car will sort of want to go in the water uh, and torque over so you can make tighter right turns and left turns and stuff. Some of the research I've done the water and then so on the chassis side of things I uh, cut out these out of thicker plate in the bottom and then with the CNC I also drew in these lines and added all the the detail I made a panel for the front so when it goes together it has something and this is that really how it would look underneath the car it's not like it's I just made that up that's from pictures that I was able to find there's not a lot of pictures available uh, for these Amphicars cars on the underside, there's a couple out there, and then there's some changes for different years. So I'm making an early Amphi car because I don't have, there's a, a ridge on the later cars that would go in the body here that I'm not doing. Also, all of this stuff will be body color, not chrome. Uh, and it has five lug wheels on an Amphi car, even though they're a 13 inch wheel. These are the smallest kind of tires that AMT puts out. Um, and then these rims are out of the 57 Chevy model kit, so they're... Yeah, they look okay. I think they'll do quite well. And then, on the chassis, cutting out the plate, I then cut these out for the wheel wells, and then curved some styrene and glued it all together. I still have to cut this out because that's where the engine goes, but I wanted to make the underside and get all that in order, and then do the inside. So I made a little bit of a structure, and it's on axles there. Pretty straightforward, and that's the uh, that's the Amphi car. I don't know what else I can really talk to you about. Um, I don't have the engine and stuff built yet, but um, that'll be kind of what's happening next. The same with the interior, and it just goes together, and there it is. So the Amphi car 770, uh, complete scratch build from flat styrene, and other than wheels, tires, and some tubing. Yeah, it's just it's inspirational because I can I first time I'm doing a project like this and uh, building a model that doesn't exist I have a lot of people that are sort of requesting that they want maybe a, a, me to resin cast this I don't know much about resin casting I'd like to get into it maybe I can uh, pull that off or even just sell it as the flat kit uh, that you have to glue it together yourself anyway uh, hope you like this video and if you like it please subscribe and have a great day